The results were on money convinced Bruce was and didn't do a second circumcision on the his name was Bruce. Um, something went wrong with the machinery and this his is penis where was burnt off. They better. stopped and didn't do a second circumcision on the other twin, as you might imagine. And the parents, of course, didn't know what to do. How are they going to raise this child? John Money convinced Bruce's parents to transition him into a girl. Money also conducted sexually abusive experiments. So they wanted to prove that, look, right before we get to the juicy part, watch, watch what this dude wanted to prove. So the documentary is asking these appointed specialists in society, such as college professors of gender studies or whatever they do, and then um, activists for trans people. And then they ask him a simple question, well, you seem to know what a woman and a man is, then what is a woman? They can't answer it. Then you ask someone who actually knows what they're talking about. And the good part was actually when he went to the tribe to show these idiots this tribe. And they're like, we have no idea what you're talking about. And he shows these idiots, it's basic, like when you go back to the basics, this has nothing to do with anything. So why are you... So focused on it, is it because you're brainwashed? But then you get to where it originated from, the transness and the fucking, and the, excuse me, and the freaking um, gayness and pride. And well, it all starts with God and sin, but that's another story. It's the whole story. But here's where it originates in America. What? Kinsey based guy, his fraudulent conclusions on data he collected from convicted sex offenders and child molesters. His research was conducted in prisons, not everyday America. He also performed horrific sexual experiments on children, some under the age of one. His most influential book, Sexual Behavior in the Human Male, contains an infamous chart called Table 34, which documents the orgasms of very young kids, including babies as young as five months old. This is where it originates from in society. But instead of suffering the unknowingly, consequences for his uh, actions, he was and still is celebrated. Everybody's seen this documentary by now. His ideas formed the foundation for sexual education in public schools today. How do we get over this to... You can choose your Okay, well now we have another very important character. And his name was John Money. John Money was a psychologist and professor at Johns Hopkins University. Dang, he only died in 2006. Gender ideology was his brainchild. In fact, he coined the terms gender identity and gender roles. It's crazy. And according to Money, babies are gender neutral at birth. Wow, that kind of sounds like somebody we know. Whether a person is a man or a woman. Wow, Money kind of was telling the world <laughs> wow, that, that, kind of like somebody we know. that a boy could be raised as a girl and do just fine, and vice versa. And so Money tried out his theory on two young twin boys, the Rhymer twins. So he has his theory. When the twins were eight months old. And they went to be circumcised. This is important. The first twin so did a second this. circumcision on the other twin, as you might imagine. And the parents, of course, the twins throughout their childhood. How are they going to raise part this right child? here? John Money convinced Bruce's parents to transition him into a girl. Money also conducted sexually abusive experiments on the twins throughout their childhood. Wow, that's kind of a fucking a huge awesome. independent variable, don't you think? wasn't true don't you think that's a huge independent variable in your little theory experiment that kids are neutral at birth how ridiculous so then you you go down to the gist of it and it's just perversion he was just a pervert doing sexual exp like or i'm gonna prove that even though you were born a boy that you could be a girl based on your environment and you know how am i gonna do that i'm gonna rape you i'm gonna perform sexual experiments on you like what and then it makes sense as to why there's drag shows that, that kids, like the kids were taken to a drag show nowadays. It makes sense why that's happening. Because when it boils down to it, that's what it is. The results were a disaster. Yeah, I think. Bruce could never fully accept his female identity. Eventually his parents told him the truth and he chose to transition back to a boy. Wow, would you look at that? 